Hey everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you some of my tips and tricks to remove those digital distractions in Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Outlook. I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys that distractions are everywhere, whether it's in Outlook, in Teams, in Facebook Messenger, Instagram, TikTok, people calling it on your phone. There's so many ways that we're getting distracted nowadays, and I want to give you a few of my key tips to help remove those distractions and focus on the task at hand. I'm not sure if you know this, but it takes between 23 and 25 minutes to get back into your state of flow once you've been distracted from the task at hand. Now, I know we've all been there where you're working away furiously, focusing on something, and then ping, Outlook pops up on the corner of your screen saying, hey, you've got a new email. Now, whether you've just read the heading of that email, whether you've read a bit of the context, or you've actually opened it up and gone through the body of it, you've been distracted. And it's gonna take you another 25 minutes to get back into that state of flow. So today's tips and tricks are all about removing those distractions to give you more focus time when you're working. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get more of my content. And of course, give me a thumbs up as well. That being said, let's get into this. So the first thing we're gonna start with is Microsoft Outlook and how to remove all those notifications about when you're getting a new email. You can see we've got Outlook open here, and what we're gonna do is hit on the file section, scroll down to where it says options, and this is gonna take us into our Outlook option setting. In the mail option, the one just under general, we're gonna select on mail. And then we're gonna scroll down. Oh, did that just distract you? Did you just look in the bottom right-hand corner and see a new email notification? Did you hear that notification go off? If you did, you're not alone. It happened to me as I was making this video, an email popped up when I turned off these settings and I stopped and I started reading what was there, distracted me from what I was doing. So we're gonna get rid of all these kinds of notifications. So now let's take it back from the start after we've got rid of that distraction and I'll show you these steps again. We're gonna go file, we're gonna scroll down to our options here and then we're gonna have our Outlook options. The second one on the left-hand side is the mail and we're gonna open that up. Scrolling down, you have under the area of message arrival, this is the notifications that you get when you get a new message in Outlook. The options that are set here by default are playing a sound, so your computer's gonna make a noise for every email that you get. It's gonna show you an envelope in the icon bar, so you can see down here, we've just got a new email and I've got that little envelope saying, hey, there's a new email in your inbox. And then of course, it's gonna give you a desktop alert, and that's the thing that popped up on the side. So if your computer is always going off with a sound, a little envelope changing at the bottom for that visual cue, and then a big desktop display notification, that's a lot of things to distract you every time you get a new email. And if you're like me, you get quite a few emails a day. So this is distractions every couple of minutes throughout your day. So what we're gonna do here is really, really quite simple. We're gonna turn off playing a sound, so at least we don't get that audio cue. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that envelope down the bottom because even though you may not realize, it is very distracting because your eyes pick up every time it pops up. And then of course, we're gonna get rid of that desktop display alert, so we're not gonna get that big thing that pops up on the side of the screen and draws our attention alongside the sound. So then we're gonna hit okay. And there you go. Now I'm gonna grab my phone again, I'm gonna send another email, and let's see what happens this time. So as you can see, the new email is there. It's at the top of our inbox, but there was no sound when that thing popped up. There was no little icon change at the bottom of our taskbar, and there was no big notification that came in on the side of the screen. We continued focusing on the task at hand because we weren't distracted by the fact that we got a new email. These are some really easy and simple steps but trust me, they'll help you focus on the task at hand because you're not getting distracted all the time. I've always felt emails are a reactive form of communication and you don't need to be notified every time you get a new email. If something really is truly important and time sensitive, they're gonna call you or they're gonna message you um, and it's not gonna be via an email. All right, now moving on to Microsoft Teams. I've got Microsoft Teams here and Teams is a great form of communication and a lot of people feel that it is helping reduce the amount of emails that we get, but that conversely means you're getting more Teams notifications. And if you have Teams on your computer, on your phone, and on your smartwatch, you're still getting quite a few notifications throughout the day. So what I'm gonna show you here is not how to turn off all these notifications, but I'm gonna show you how to take control of them. On your Teams site here, in the top right-hand corner, you wanna select on your profile picture, and then you wanna scroll down to your settings. In your settings here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see notifications. And this is where you can control the notifications in Teams that you get. 
The top one is missed activities via email. So if you're not at your computer or your phone all the time, you can actually have an email for every, well for default is set by an hour, or you could get it every eight hours daily, as soon as possible, or you could have this turned off. Basically this means if something's happening on Teams and you haven't been on there for the past hour, you get an email about it. I'd recommend having this on maybe every eight hours or even just turning it off completely because Teams has a lot of notifications inside of it already. I'm gonna change this though to daily. So we get one email a day to let you know everything that you've missed in Teams. Of course, if you scroll down a bit, you can adjust the appearance and the sound of the Teams notifications. But what I really wanna focus on is your Teams and your channel notifications. So you can see here, you can get a desktop notification for all the activities. Basically, that's every time you're mentioned, you've got a chat, you've got a meeting, everything, you're gonna get a notification. You can have it set for only mentions and replies where they're replying directly to you, or you can customize this. So I always recommend going custom and setting it to the preferences that you prefer. So for example, let's have a look at the custom chat settings. Whenever you get at mentioned, do you want to get a banner, so a notification on your screen and in your feed, or do you want to only showing up on your feed? So I would recommend dropping these down into either only feed or turning them off completely because that will just reduce the amount of notifications that you are getting. Um, and then going through and doing the same thing for meetings and for people as well. So in meetings here, do you want to get a meeting start notification? I actually like leaving this one on banner and that's that thing that pops out on the side because it does let you know, hey, the meeting has started. Um, so this one here is one that I would recommend leaving onto the default because it, all, it is always good to know when a meeting is starting. And of course, it gives you the option to quickly join it. The people notification is actually a default that you can set. If, if you have someone that's really important to work with, say for example, it could be your boss. I'm gonna type in Alex here and turn this on. This is actually gonna let me know every time Alex is available. So if he's a very, very busy person, um, and it tells me down the bottom, Alex is now offline. This will let me know every time he's online or offline, or I could turn off this notification because it because I actually don't need to know where he is all the time, but there might've been a specific day when I needed to follow him around and grab his attention when he was free. What I'd recommend here is taking some time for yourself, going into Teams and actually going through the notification settings and seeing what works best for you. Now I'm gonna X out of that for a second because there's another notification I wanna show you guys how to turn off. If you go into a chat and say you're in a big group chat, it could be say something like a webinar, it could be a chat with you know, five, 10, 15, maybe even more people. When you have that many people in a chat session, you're always gonna get notifications when people are talking and that can be quite distracting. So say on the side here, we have a chat with six people, Alex, Irvin, Joanna, and three others. So there's six people in this chat plus yourself. And if they're always talking, you're gonna be getting a lot of notifications. What I'd recommend here is on the chat, scrolling over to the right hand side, you have the ellipses, you select on the more options and you scroll down to where it says mute. And if you mute this chat, you can still participate in it, but it just means you're not getting any notifications about that chat. So you can see here that the chat is still bold because there's notifications and messages in there that I haven't read. But on the left hand side in the icon, it's actually got a bell with a cross through it, letting me know that I've turned off the notifications for that chat. So again, in Teams, a few simple steps of scrolling to the right hand side, selecting in your profile photo, going down to settings, notifications, and then customizing your team's notifications to what worked best for you. The last tip I wanna give you on your computer is actually how to turn on notifications or turn off notifications throughout the whole PC. Because you're getting notifications in more apps than just Teams and in Outlook, right? What you wanna do is down the bottom here, you have this little icon where it says four new notifications. It's basically a speech bubble with some lines. You're gonna open up the speech bubble and this is gonna take you to your action center. As you can see here, it's got a few notifications from Outlook that I have missed. And down the bottom here, you have this option called Focus Assist. Focus Assist is basically turning on or turning off distractions on your computer. If you turn on Focus Assist, Right now it's on priority only and we're gonna set only a few key programs that can notify us when priority is on. We can tap it one more time and this is gonna be only when we've set an alarm or if we tap it one more time, we turn focus assist off and all notifications from all apps is gonna appear on the screen. If you wanna customize what apps appear in focus assist, you right click on focus assist, scroll down to go to settings. This is gonna open up your settings and then it's gonna show you your focus assist settings where you can turn it off, priority only or alarms only. 
If we go priority only, there's the option here to customize your priority list. We turn that on and here we can basically go through and we can add different apps that are priority, which basically means we can say, if we want access from our calendar, even in priority mode, our calendar is still gonna give us notifications or you could you know, add another app, scroll down, you could add the Outlook app. Basically, you go through, you choose which apps are important to you. And if you want notifications from them, even when priority mode is on, it's gonna block everything, but the set amount of apps that you've chosen. So there you guys have it. There are a few of my key tips and tricks to remove notifications in Microsoft Outlook and in Microsoft Teams. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.